Here at the Vascular Anomalies Center at Boston Children's Hospital, we bring together caregivers from all areas of medicine to help treat patients with rare and not so rare vascular anomalies. We're in it with you for the long haul because we really want to help you and we really want to understand this together. The big part of what we do is educating families and patients about their disease. Prior to the referral to our vascular anomaly center, the diagnosis is incorrect in about 50% of the patients. For these diseases that have fallen through the cracks of disciplines, what often happen is you see a number of different specialists who've never spoken to each other. So you leave with a number of different plans and sometimes more than one name for what you have, and that brings a great challenge for families. The advantage of having a centralized group means that because of this interdisciplinary nature, because we're all speaking, you're almost assured to have one diagnosis and one unified story of management. By seeing the patients together and discussing the patients together with all the docs physically in the room at the same time, we have immediate back and forth interchange and we also discover new problems and new opportunities to solve those problems. We find that this growth of lymphatic malformation and growth of the jaws tends to stabilize in teenage years. In a girl, usually by 14, 15 at the latest. The important thing is that by working together and seeing all these patients that have come from all over, we see patterns. The patient is an eight-year-old female from California with a referring diagnosis of pelvic venous malformation. Every Wednesday night, we have a vascular anomalies conference. We discuss cases They could either be complicated cases that are coming in to clinic, or other times we discuss patients that aren't coming in who would like advice without actually being seen in person. I think we've seen something like this before. Um, I know there have been reported cases of iliac vein to mesenteric vein fistulas. We do this as a service to patients to prevent them from having to always travel to Boston when sometimes we can give good information remotely. Ready? I'm constantly reminded how much experience there is in our center. Through my own research projects and through talking through others, it's quite clear to me that we have more experience in our center than there is in most of the world's literature for most of these things we see. The team that we've built and the expertise that we have is often providing something to a patient or a family, something that otherwise was not available to them. In some cases, we've developed some unique procedures that aren't done anyplace else. This is again, the source of the pain, or the pain could be referring to these spots. From that. What we can offer your child and your family as a whole is assessment by a team of specialists, all of whom focus on what your child has. We bring to the table the expertise from every discipline in medicine, and we coordinate it to make sure that needing to come to Boston or needing to have such complex care is as family friendly as possible.